also known as Cathedral of Our Lady Chartres, the Chartres Cathedral located in Chartres, France, is considered to be one of the world's most finest examples of Gothic architecture. Chartres Cathedral served as the center of its economy and town's daily activity. It became a prominent pilgrimage destination where four fairs were celebrated throughout the year. These fairs were the feast days of the Virgin Mary and were known as the Purification, the Annunciation, the Assumption, and the Nativity. The Chartres Cathedral was considered a site of holy pilgrimage and was dedicated to the Virgin herself. This popular pilgrimage site attracted thousands of viewers until it burned down in 1020 AD. It, the cathedral was rebuilt until it partially survived yet another fire in 1134. On June 1194, disaster hit town again when lightning struck and left only the facade and west towers of the church alive. The rebuilding of the Chartres Cathedral in 1194 took about 26 years to complete and was dedicated to King Louis IX. Constructed over an area of 117,058 square feet, the cathedral's plan is cruciform plan. Chartres Cathedral contains a 92-foot long nave and 121 high, being the widest in France. It also contains two transepts and an ambulatory. The Chartres Cathedral is the first building composed of intricate flying buttresses necessitated to hold the weight of the cathedral's nave and the exceptionally high vaults. Its high elevations called for the use of buttresses to maintain its structural mass. The building is also made of four ribbed vaults rather than six in a rectangular form. Its skeletal structure allowed visitors to feel the large space of the building and experience its massive height. A key feature that violates the symmetry of the building are the spires. One is Romanesque, measuring 349 feet, whereas the other is 16th century Gothic, measuring 377 feet. Throughout the building, scenes from the Old Testament were depicted inside and outside of the cathedral. The entrance, known as the Royal Portal, houses religious statues of kings, queens, and figures from the Old Testament. Different episodes and religious scenes from Christ's life, as well as Mary's life, are represented on the west facade. This design was exclusive to Chartres Cathedral. The Chartres Labyrinth measures about 43 feet and was served as a center for repentance where pilgrims and visitors would walk around the maze asking for forgiveness or meditating. The most magnificent part of the Chartres Cathedral is the application of stained glass windows that govern most of the church. There are about 170 stained glass windows in the cathedral. The Chartres Cathedral is renowned for its various stained glass windows and rose windows adorned with scenes from the Old Testament. The effects of light transforming throughout the church represent a notion of mystic light, which can't be offered as vividly and beautifully anywhere else.